good morning everyone my self is dr bn rao today i am going to teach a new concept okay that is the types of accelerometers under the measurement of acceleration okay in the previous session we have finished about the measurement of acceleration the principle and its operation and what are the how many modes the accelerometer can work and what are the conditions and on what principles does the accelerometer works all these things we have discussed in a detailed manner with respect to the mathematical equations my dear students okay now in this session we are going for the various types of accelerometer <music> generally accelerometers are classified based upon the type of the spring element and the form of the damping used okay on the form of on the basis of the damper and the, on the basis of the spring accelerometers has been classified into three types one is called potentiometric accelerometer second one is called klvdt type accelerometer and third one is that is the piezo electric type that is equal to piezo electric type accelerometer now in this session my dear students we are going to discuss one by one accelerometer in a detail manner my dear students okay now as i told you that the first accelerometer is a potentiometric accelerometer why the name is called potentiometric accelerometer means uh, i am going to use here the potentiometric okay the potentiometer i am going to use uh, over here okay and i told you that it is one of the simple form of the accelerometer okay here the seismic mass mass is this is the this is the mass that is attached to the okay a wiper arm okay it is attached to the wiper arm of the potentiometer okay the change see whenever i am accelerating this particular accelerometer case this one is what uh, this one is uh, accelerometer case okay when i am vibrating this particular body then the position when i am vibrating this particular body okay the position in the change in the mass okay relative to the accelerometer case relative to the accelerometer case is converted directly into the is converted directly into the change in the resistance this is the here the change in the resistance at the output terminals here we are going to get the change in the resistance at the output terminals now this change in the resistance at the output terminals we need to connect with the with, with respect to the other signal conditioning elements we are connecting with respect to the other signal conditioning elements then this change in the resistance okay by converting to this sci then we are going to get the output is in a, the voltage or current signal you are getting again the voltage or simply you are going to get the current signal you are getting the voltage signal or simply the current signal means here what ultimately i am going to tell you it means when i am vibrating this particular body the mass okay that is touching to the wiper then the change in the resistance this change in the resistance by connecting to the signal conditioning then you are getting the output will be the form of the general form of the output will be the form of what that is voltage or simply that is current okay in that way i am converting the the non electrical quantity that is acceleration into the that is the output is is electrical okay now here i am going to use the damper this is the damper that i am going to use over here here damping is provided i have provided the damper okay either by filling inside the space with the viscous liquid okay it is filled with the, the viscous liquid or uh, i am going to use a uh, ir dash pot okay here I, i will use different types of damper okay either i can use filled with viscous liquid or i going to use certain other dash pot my dear students okay i told you that uh, this particular potentiometric type accelerometer is simple in construction my dear students okay it is simple in a construction okay now here what are the points you need to remember as far as the gate is concerned means uh, as i told you it is limited in use okay its natural frequency is very less uh, around 30 hertz only its natural frequency that the reason this is used in the low frequency vibration measurements uh, okay low frequency this is used in only in the low frequency vibration measurements uh, are simply we are going to use in the 
steady state acceleration my dear students so we are going to use in the steady state acceleration here one more important thing that you need to remember my dear students here errors are introduced why the errors are going to be introduced my dear students the errors are going to be introducing because of the sliding contact here which one i am going i am having this one i am going to use a sliding contact okay so here errors are introduced why means when i am using the longer periods of time then becomes the wiper the wiper sharpness the sharpness of the wiper becomes blunt it becomes blunt then what happens it with this wiper edge will not be in touch with this the arm of this potentiometer then automatical error will be introduced this is the first case where the potentiometric type accelerometer is going to be used by the students okay so this particular method itself is used only for the low frequency vibration measurements or steady state acceleration so here at disadvantage itself is the sliding contact introduces error to my dear students that is the reason see so the why i am going for the next method the what are the disadvantages in the existing method will be compensated by the next method that is the reason i am going for the next type of meter and that meter itself is okay that is the l that is the lvdt type accelerometer okay so before going for this particular lvdt type accelerometer i am going to explain about the piezo electric accelerometer okay in the piezo electric accelerometer what is happening let me explain okay see here okay the piezo electric accelerometer in this particular accelerometer okay i am going to explain the concept okay see here what one is using see the piezo crystal in this one which one is playing an important role here the piezo crystal is playing an important role this is the piezo crystal where it is playing an important role over here okay and i told you that here the here what i am going to tell you means the main advantage of using this piezo electric accelerometer is here the crystal is acting okay as a spring and damper okay here the total crystal itself this itself is acting as a okay it is acting as a spring and damper there is no specific spring or damper i am going to use here it is this particular one is using as a the second one that is using as a spring and damper that's the reason this is called a piezo electric type okay accelerometer okay now here piezo electric type accelerometer generally on what property generally the piezo electric accelerometer works okay see here generally piezo electric type accelerometer depends on one principle okay what is the principle means see whenever any crystal this crystal what are the crystal i have taken this crystal is subjected to any sort of stress okay if i am going to subject any sort of stress over here then what happens okay then what happens then a piezo crystal stress then a voltage is developed across the crystal okay across the crystal what is happening a voltage is developed okay that is the reason piezo electric type accelerometer depends upon full piezo electric effect what is piezo electric effect whenever any piezo electric crystal stresses then it develops okay a voltage in the crystal okay so in this is a piezo electric crystal okay a piezo that is a spring loaded here a spring loaded what is where is the spring is there okay he is touching the c sigma okay here the spring loaded this is a this one see the construction this is a spring loaded crystal this is touching the seismic mass okay as shown in the figure as shown in this particular figure okay this is a spring and it is touching the this is seismic mass okay this one is accelerometer case okay now here what is happening let me concentrate seriously okay when the accelerometer when this accelerometer is subjected to acceleration okay when this accelerometer this total <coughs> accelerometer case is subjected to the acceleration this total one okay is subjected to the <coughs> acceleration then uh, the seismic mass this mass where is this one this mass is stressing the crystal this mass uh, stresses here the crystal then what happens uh, by by a force f that is the reason this mass stresses the crystal by a force f and that is equal to f equal to ma okay whenever the this, this mass is stressing the crystal by a force then automatically what happens a charge okay, a voltage is developed across the crystal so here a voltage is going to be developed across the crystal here i am going to develop any a voltage e okay 
e okay now we have to show here this e is proportional to acceleration we need to show that uh, this e is proportional to acceleration okay how it is i am going to tell you okay see here the very very important thing is that uh, i told you that the seismic mass stresses the crystal here the seismic mass stresses the crystal where it is uh, see here this is a formula is uh, by force f equal to m this is a formula one then what happens when this force is there say, pressing this particular crystal then what happens uh, a charge q here a q charge will be developed inside the that is crystal and that q equal to df what is d here where d is the charge sensitivity of the crystal d is the charge sensitivity of the crystal the units are d equal to q by f q units are coulomb f equal to newton charge sensitivity of the crystal units are coulomb per newton now substitute this particular equation f equal to m a here in here f therefore q equal to d a to this is m a but here a, i told you that a voltage is generated that voltage here itself is a e okay but here this crystal acts as a parallel plate capacitor there is a relation between the voltage e q and c that is equal to e equal to q by c but substitute here q equal to what is the formula this formula okay substitute here q equal to d into a m a m a by c here what happens e is directly proportional to a here e is directly proportional to here a therefore e is proportional to the acceleration that is e is proportional to the acceleration okay before going for the lvdd type accelerometer that is a between one so hey okay now the potentiometric type and piezoelectric electric type accelerometer in potentiometric type accelerometer the problem itself is that uh, the sliding contacts are going to be introduced and its natural frequency is very less uh, that is the problem okay and so it is used for low frequency vibration measurements here there is a separate okay there is a separate damper okay and the spring is used in potentiometric type accelerator but here crystal itself acting as a that is a damper and a the general one okay that is okay and finally these these points you need to remember over here okay now there are certain points we need to conclude based upon the lvdd type accelerometer and the uh, here the piezoelectric accelerometer here the piezoelectric accelerometer what is the advantage of this one okay the advantage itself is uh, it's a natural frequency when compared to this one okay here i am going for the previous one see in potentiometric uh, its natural frequency is very less here the natural frequency is very high okay how much it is uh, the natural frequency itself is uh, very high around uh, around how much uh, 100 kilohertz natural frequency is uh, around 100 kilohertz uh, so this particular method is used in uh, high frequency that is uh, frequent high frequency vibration measurements are uh, i told you that uh, high frequency vibration measurements uh, are uh, steady state uh, acceleration this is the but, but that is only 30 hertz this is 100 kilohertz means uh, the piezoelectric accelerometer has a uh, more okay so natural frequency is more that the reason it is used in high frequency vibration measurements are it is having a high steady state acceleration okay now in the next session we are going for the lvdd type accelerometer in a detail my dear students okay thank you